Sitting down, you don't have to get up for this part. Put your hands like this, like you got two steaks in your hand. Not the type you eat, but the time you climb, type you climb with, okay? So start climbing. Get up that mountain, baby. <laughs> All right, let's go up now, because we don't want to stay in the same place. Now, I can see right now, by the way some of you do it, we got the cool people <laughs> climbing the mountain. We got, we got the half thugs in here. Yeah. Yeah, Vic. I keep it real when I climb, man. I keep it real. You know, I keep it real. Then we got the violent tendency people like, shut up already. All right. That will mean something later. All right. When we talk about, I got to bring up the G word. Because nobody ever wants to talk about the G word. Goals. You know, every time I mention goals, it's like, oh, God. Is, is this going to be a long speech about goals? No, you know what goals are. But I need you to say this for me. Ooh! Ooh. No, say it. Ooh! Ooh! That's nasty. That's nasty. One more time. That's nasty. That's nasty. See, goals are nasty. Goals are nasty. Goals are nasty reminders of a promise you made that you're about to break. That's why you resent goals, because they're nasty reminders. But, Victor, don't hold me to it. Don't hold me to it. And then what do most of you say? I ask you, do you have goals with it? Do you have them written down? You go, I got them right here. <laughs> don't judge me, Victor. I got them right here. No, you got them right here, because that's where they're going to stay. So you go, you're sitting on them babies, but you ain't doing nothing with them. We resent goals for that very reason. Because they're nasty reminders of something we should have done. See, because what happens is, we say, okay, I'm going to join this organization because I really want to get involved. I don't have time to do it because... And so we rationalize it into next week, right? And then, well, next thing you know, well, maybe next semester I'll join. We rationalize it into that. Now, we do this with personal goals as well. We rationalize it into the next quarter. We rationalize it to December 31st, and then we're like, da-da-da-da. We're going to set some new goals. <laughs> we rationalize why we can't do some. Now, some of you are sitting there going, Victor, you don't know me. You can't judge me. You don't know what I'm going through right now. You don't understand me. My dog Scruffy's in the hospital. <laughs> you know, you come up with them. They got the excuses. We all have excuses. But we rationalize things away that we never get to doing it. Did you ever break the word rationalize apart? The ability to ration lies to ourselves. <laughs> oh, because that's how we do it. Oh, I told you things happen slowly in life. And what we do is we rationalize it slowly to ourselves. Well, I would, but I just can't because I have to go do my hair. Rationalize it in the next way. Well, I can't because i got to go to this basketball game and I told the guys I'd show up. I can get back to doing that maybe later on. We rationalize, but we do it so slowly that over time, at the end of the year, we realized when we look back, we haven't done anything. <laughs>